Here at Penn State, football season is one of, this, one of the most exciting and spirited times. Everyone battles for season tickets, and not getting them is a major letdown. Student tickets are very scarce due to the stadium's maximum capacity, leaving many with the desire to pay high prices for a chance to experience one of these great games. The economics of ticket scalping starts with the fundamental principle of supply and demand. The law of demand states that there is an inverse relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded, while the law of supply states that the higher the price of a good, the more of that goods sellers will make available over the specified time period. These two laws help illustrate the economics behind ticket scalpers. On game day, hundreds of ticket scalpers come out to take advantage of this colossal demand. Typically, these scalpers sell tickets at much higher prices than face value due to the elasticity of demand. This term refers to the flexibility of consumers' desires for a product. In this case, Penn State tickets have an inelastic demand, which means a change in price will not greatly affect demand. Elasticity also has many determinants, such as the existence of substitutes, the share of the budget, and the length of time allowed for adjustment. Penn State tickets have no substitutes, which makes it more inelastic than elastic. The length of time allowed for adjustment for tickets would be categorized in the short run, given that you only have a few hours before game time to purchase a ticket. Since tickets are bought in the short run, they are more inelastic than elastic. As you can tell from this footage, we decided to see what the ticket scalpers were offering. Alright, I just tried buying tickets off of uh, several guys over here. Get them on shot. Go and zoom out to them. Guy was trying to sell them for... The guy said that there were six, sixty-three dollars from Ticketmaster, and he he was willing to sell them for like thirty. I don't know what that. It's kind of shady, but he had actual tickets in a bag for like sixty something. So not as high as the Michigan game, but still pretty high. And surprisingly enough, one of the guys over there has a card. <laughs> I'll scan this and put this in the video. To get a good visual understanding of the economics of ticket scalping, here is a graph. As you can see from the graph, there is a fixed supply of tickets available for purchase at a fixed stadium price, which is known as a price ceiling. For student tickets, this price is set at approximately $30. From this graph, we can determine Penn State's total revenue and how much more revenue they could have had if they increased their stadium size, which would then increase the supply of tickets. This is done by finding the areas under the ticket price before it reaches the supply. On this graph, Penn State's total revenue is shown in green, and in blue is how much money, more money Penn State could have made if they increased their stadium size. Since the price is fixed well below the market clearing price, which is where supply intersects demand, the opportunity for ticket scalping arises. Ticket scalpers are then able to drastically increase the price to the market clearing price. This is shown when we pretended to be interested in buying a scalp ticket. The ticket scalper told us that he was selling student tickets for around $60, double its initial price. At this price, ticket scalpers are able to generate revenue, which is shown in red. This is the economics of ticket scalping in a nutshell. Hi, I'm Jose Rivera, and I helped write the script and film some of the footage. Um, I'm Jesse Keenan, uh, and I helped write the script and helped film various footages. Uh, hi, I'm Alec Randazzo. I helped film and I put the video together.